It's 136 Washburn Hill Road. 136, right. Oh, yeah, I should have said, oh, yeah, the car is right Turn the page. That. Yeah. <laughs> Some of that documentation that Jordan does with it. That's right. This is the silly season, you know. It There's is. so much My going on after you like this. I'm like. not here. <laughs> um, okay, so that's been approved, and then we'll pass that to David. David will sign it. It'll pile up on my... signing the manifests and then we will review the draft more articles and I stuck that there again just because I didn't know if there was anything else that we need to be thinking about adding or okay. money wise the milfoil stuff still hasn't come in um, so that amount will be changed, but other than that, monetarily, okay. those are the ones that... So, well, further on down, we were going to talk about possibly increasing the into capital reserve funds line for the firefighting equipment. We're putting 10 in, 10,000. Yes. We might consider putting a little more in there and then thank you I was also wondering about um, uh, there's another one we were well that's gone away I'll come back to it um, there was possibly another one we were going to try and increase but it's not and you guys have time to do that but I just yeah, we do. Like Other than sure. that, these are the same numbers we have talked about at least twice now, so they're looking good unless it would be the firefighting might get an increase right. um, or under, it might be under vehicle capital reserve because they are looking for possibly a uh, rescue vehicle. It would be a firefighting thing, yeah. Right. It would be right. under firefighting, yeah. okay. Yeah. That's the one. That well, it, won't, it wouldn't be under the safety thing, but it would be, yes, it's for a firefighter vehicle there. So are, we, so, are we supposed to discuss and, work and give them all the payroll for that? To get that? Well, we have to talk about that, yeah. yeah. It's coming up. Probably next we'll talk about that. The request to go out and search for a... I thought they found one. They did. That's what that, that, that memo that came. They found one person contacted right them. but they, they don't have, have this approval. thing available that they don't have right I mean they have to take another vehicle on it's insurance it's yep. repairs so you guys have to say yay or nay right so um, they could use that without question to drag your trailer right yes and this is have to get a like they could drive the yeah. trailer with that I don't know what the cost to get it here would be. That's the only other thing I was thinking of, money-wise. Okay, fine. Now Finance if it's a wise. Good or not. Drive it. Yeah. Well, I know, but it's in. The fuel would be used. It's quite a ways Damn away. Sad. Yeah. The Carolinas. I'm trying to think of where exactly it is, and it's left left my brain. Um, yeah, we all have fuzzy brains. But, today. you know, I mean, somebody would have to go down and get it, and obviously... These are surplus vehicles the government right. has available for towns. It's where they got the same place um, they got the UTV from. <laughs> so there's no cost. We can use it. We have to repair it. We have to maintain it. We have to do all that stuff. And then after a year, and then you after a year, it if you want. <laughs> it's yours, and you can sell it if you need to. Or, right? I need something that's a vacation. Myrtle Beach, I'm driving home. <laughs> <laughs> I can see that 
that in the town report. Mm -hmm. Two That's firefighters on vacation in Myrtle Beach. <laughs> right. <laughs> Whatever the cost to go get it is going to be less than buying a new one. Certainly. Oh, absolutely. Mm -hmm. Certainly yeah. is. Certainly, and I'm right. just thinking budget wise, make sure that money is in the budget. So let's, we're going to go there next. <clears throat> let's see if there's anything. Well, we're halfway else. there right now. <laughs> <laughs> that we want. Focus. <laughs> That's um, that brain train of thought. It's really hard this time of year. Yes. <laughs> okay, so we don't have any answers on the milfoil yet. We've got a placeholder in here. Block grant, public works. Um, these are all standard. The vehicle capital reserve fund for the new highway truck and we're hoping maybe fingers and toes crossed we can sell that spiffy new truck. Well I can give you some news on that. Oh all right that would be no, nice. That's not good news. Um, it's conversational news uh, with Scott. Mm -hmm. um, to sell that right now is not going to work because then they'd be down a truck. Right. If we sell that and we don't know, you know, when the new truck would come because the one they're going to order after town meeting, you know, may not be here until, well, probably won't be here until at least September or October. Yeah, that so if we sell that big truck now, then, you're then he's here. all that, all those months without the, the vehicle, a vehicle. Well, and so he can't, he's just concerned about doing that. Trade in? When you do a trade-in, you get a new vehicle, they take the old one. At the time, you do get the new vehicle. We tried that. The trade-in value yeah, was terrible, it. was awful, wasn't even, yeah, it was like a wasn't even close to what we should be getting for it. And but here's the other thing, is most people around here don't want one of those because they're too big. Right. They're too big for small country roads. Right. So you got to go. That's why the Muni Bid place and the right. other place we used. But in order there. for me to list it on there, you have to be ready to sell it so that somebody will come and get it. You know, they're going to want it. Right. You can't say, like, available in April. Well, I don't know. I guess I could try, but I don't know <laughs> how good that would work. But, well, you know, I don't know. Well, it seems we have a truck that nobody that. likes. I know. We need it. to get rid of that thing. And it's pretty new, so it should have some value to it. Right. I'll put some feelers Let's think about some Mr. options. Municipal guy and see what he says, yeah. Yeah. It's too bad, I think Orford just ordered a new one just like it. Cool, if so I, somebody around here I is known, using them. <laughs> if I had known that, I would have called them right up and asked them if they were interested Ask in a good they deal. Want too. <laughs> They'll be sorry because their roads are just like ours. I know. Yeah, but the guy who ordered the same person. <coughs> same what? Same person yeah. who ordered ours. Okay, moving right along. Yes. So we. That's the, the trouble with town meeting. It, you know, the road agent is has his own powers in the state. He can ask for what he wants. And mm -hmm. Town meeting just sucks it up. Okay, da da da, Milfoil. There was one other, let's see, firefighting safety equipment, that's the same. If we think, now we've been fairly clear that we think if there is a petition to ask for a revaluation, mm -hmm. what, there should be some money included in that petition because we don't have the funds. Right. So, um, Otherwise, I would propose that we have a Warren article for a, a major amount of money to go into the Capital Reserve Fund and make sure that we cover what we think we need, which at this point I'm thinking would be 80 to 100,000. So, right. well, and we have 50 there now. If the petition Warren article had money in it and then you used up your Capital Reserve Fund, yes, you would want a one article in this year to at least get you back to where you were before. Right. So you can be on that cycle. Right. So we should think about maybe putting in another Warren article to, or or 
if it's not a separate Warren article, having it be money into the Capital Reserve Fund. Right. What do you guys think? Yeah, well, it should be brought back up to some. I don't want to zero it out. If yeah, agreed. So, <clears throat> what we've got going in right now is ten thousand dollars. Ten thousand, yeah. And I think it's at fifty. Fifty cents, 40, I think, 50 it was. Or something, yeah. yeah. So you should. Have so we should probably think about adding. That's why I, I kind of like a separate Warren yeah, article right. so that it will depend on what happens with yeah, the Yeah, so we can drop it. Because we can pass over if we don't need to. Yep. Yep. Now you definitely get it into up to, if it's at 56 right now, you should probably 30, get it up to 40, at least close 40, to 100. 40 or 50. Yeah, so let's let's just earmark, let's say, split the difference, 45,000 in a separate Warren article. We'll get legal to help us raise it. So to that um, go into the capital reserve fund. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's very cool. Okay. Those were the. I think I didn't. Nothing else struck me as where we wanted to go with that. You guys good with it? You think? Okay. Mm -hmm. All right, then we can talk about the fire fast rescue vehicle state of New Hampshire grant program. Um, do we have any guesstimates on what this vehicle will actually cost to retrieve and insure and whatever? And we have no guarantees it's in good shape or bad shape. We don't really know. Well, the note said they heard it was in good shape. <laughs> Just repeating what it says. <laughs> so they thought it was reportedly in good condition. This is the guy from the state. And in the program where the town will take ownership after one year. Um, I saw, let's see, he was just sending, it's in Fort, it's at Fort Bragg, North Carolina. <coughs> It's just like the one we already had, isn't it? Didn't we, we already had a rescue. Yeah, uh, it's very bigger. This is bigger? Well, it's not a ton truck. Yeah, the rescue unit that they already got rid of. They got rid of it like, what, four years ago, five years ago, is something that like that? 3,500? Uh, it's a big box truck thingy like that, like a regular. Well, that's just the body of the truck underneath it. It's what did I say in the truck? It's a, they said, 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 we kind of go back and forth with the vehicles, but. Well, I'm still not clear if that's what we had before. Now, we can they do this. They might have had other reasons to get rid of it. Right. That we're not aware of. We should probably, we don't have to do this today. This isn't something we have to do by the end of we this. We should ask those questions. Um, yeah, you should have them yeah. come in here and we talk should. to you guys. Yeah. Um. I think. I know that they are anxious and they need something that can pull their equipment and move the UTV, and, but sometimes if you move too fast. Well, it's not a huge truck. And there's no time limit here. Okay. I mean, there's, in this email that the guy sent to um, Ernst Kling. Oh, Ernst. Yeah, because he was the UTV person, so now. Yeah, they've got his um, name. It just says, I've requested more info on the year and the mileage. And that's how he ends it. So he doesn't say, I have to know by whatever. It's a 5500. It would be similar to Fairley's rescue vehicle. So. Can you say that? Right here. I'm reading okay. it. Thank you. <laughs> 
I didn't just make it up. I'm reading it right here. It is. Um, and they they need that probably to carry the body that that's on. Mm -hmm. All right. That's fine. But you don't have to. Decide. Let's <laughs> ask for more info, some more details, and on, um, see if we can decide at the next meeting. And I'd be surprised if that's a long mile or so. So we want to make sure the size is right. We want to know what the mileage is. So next meeting. Mm -hmm. And how about if I invite Aaron to come over? I would love that. Meeting. Thank you. Maybe Aaron and or Ernst. I'm not sure. It's not a forest fire. No, it's not sorry. forest fire. No. Yeah. It's just regular fire and fast. Well, they can use it for whatever. Mm -hmm. Okay. Pull the trailer. Well, the UTV is really fire. It's not a you know, forest fire on the list for fire. For but it's also to get into the forest stuff. Yep. Yep. On the UTV, we had to get quickly because the folks who were getting rid of it wanted to keep it for themselves <laughs> and the next opportunity. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> All right, well, next meeting. And then the Firefighter Capital Reserve Fund increase. We just we talked about that. Mm -hmm. um, we're going to see about increasing that line. We didn't talk about how much. Yeah, give me a figure. <laughs> we're adding 10. Mm -hmm. So. Which is up from 5. <laughs> yeah. So 50. Ten for that. They probably think that's small potatoes. But. So twenty altogether. Yeah. Good. No, well, I hope not. And he has a schedule that's planning it out. I know it's just and and the firefighter wants if if the town supports them being you know the fire chief recommending to the board and the board being the right right. Agents, thank you. Um, then, you know, I think the panic of having so much in there is is kind of gone because then they don't. It's it's the cycle that they have to wait for town meeting. Yes, you they know? don't like waiting for. They, well, it's, when they well, need something, they need it. It's right, and it's more about right. If you have a new member and they've been there for six months and they need gear and you can't get it because you can't use the money that mm -hmm. the town's saving for it, seems. Kind of against the meaning of it, but yeah. And by the way, your legal department will mostly tell, encourage any new warrant article to be selectmen as agents and or what, if there's a commission or something like that, because of that kind that of thing. by the delay. Right. Okay. Thank you. Now we come to the report on the preliminary ratio study. And I know we've talked about it. I think in the minutes it would be good to either have a snapshot of what that said or attach that preliminary report to the minutes. So anyone that's interested would have it. Todd's thing, yeah. Yeah, absolutely. if that's OK. Yeah. Um, yeah, I, I would think so. I will say that you know preliminary things are also always just that. Mm -hmm. And when will we get? When will we get the final? I don't know that for sure. Before town meeting. Oh yeah. Yep. All right. So I'll do it as an attachment to. The I think that's good. So in the minutes we can say that we received it and it's attached. Okay. Review and vote on any carryovers. So we're pretty close this year. <laughs> those, Don't you like those that? two storms <laughs> sucked right up the yeah. uh, any big excess we might have had. Leave mine. 
I don't have my budget. I, I printed it off and I just didn't grab it. Yeah. I think I can. That's okay. I think. No, you're all right. If I can't remember, then I'll steal yours. There I you know. <laughs> and um, so what we had from last time's minutes and what was in my head was a smart TV for this room. We've had a lot of calls for that for, for a couple of years. Two traffic readers, I'm calling them. They're those uh, lines that go on the road. Traffic counters. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Not readers, counters. That's okay. And um, new, better, from the actual manufacturer, those speed signs that are solar, one on the south entrance and one on the north entrance to town. So um, I've done a little homework on the smart TV and I think we can get a good one that works well installed by the people that sell it and a bracket and the HDMI transmitter for about $2,000. Explain to me what exactly this does, what capacity it You has. could sit there with your computer and, and you could have a presentation like at the budget committee and it would go up here and everyone sitting there would be able to see it. So it's like a shared monitor, a big shared monitor. You go up there, you're going to have it there. Or right. any, any smart TV well, you can put it allow in your, exactly your computer to pick yeah. up on it. I was yeah. just making sure it wasn't a projector. It's that's not a what, projector. Yeah, that's no. what we it's, had originally it's, done. Yeah, that's what we were going to do, right. and then everyone was, and, and that's very old technology right. now. Right. And this is the best, and when we were at the last budget meeting, the um, new school principal said the very best thing, the easiest to use, the most versatile would be smart TVs. So I was figuring how, it would go here, it? but it could go over there. Whatever. It's a 75-inch. Wow. Oh, we could watch a game. Super Bowl. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> well, and I... I'm guessing you could do a Zoom with uh, someone, you know, be mm -hmm. on the TV and then everybody. Aircast or Chromecast from your yeah. laptop. What sort of a, what, what's the warranty on this and where is it coming from? Did I went to Best Buy okay. and I have the name of the head of that department and it will, they will be doing the installation and I do not have your warranty I'm and sure stuff. I don't have that, but um, usually three. And it's got crystal clear resolution. Wow, well, the best. It gave me kind of drool. No, no fuzziness. It was kind of cool. But yeah, we should look into that further. But I have the guy's name. He said give him a call. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because you know, like with the radar signs, you know. Yeah. We don't want to get something where then. Two or three years down the line, right? Stops working and we can't get. And the radar them. signs. The reason you get them from where we're getting them from is what we ran into this time was we bought them from one place, and the innards were built by somebody else. And the place we bought them from doesn't fix the innards, and you know it was one of those crazy things. Mm -hmm. So there. So we have a cost. The two signs together for ten thousand five hundred, and the traffic counters. I think they're like fifteen hundred. Oh, for both of them. For yeah. both of they're them. They're like six or seven hundred dollars a piece for a good one. Yeah. So. Where are we going to store it? Those are the question. At the highway garage where they belong. Where the other ones disappear. Yeah, well, they were here in our vault for a long time, and then somebody put them out, and then they disappeared. And then I noticed last night that you had another item. I did that, that I wanted to talk about. Yeah, so talk about it, because I went kind of off the walls when I went. Oh, I didn't know if you'd even notice it, Judy. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I was hoping Is that Harvey last was going to notice stuff? it. I are was we, like, are we done with the traffic counters and the oh, radar signs? Have we made a decision on that? Or can we not let's now? make a decision. We're, we're just listing what I knew we talked about before. Okay. Well, what, sorry. What, no, what okay. would you like to say? No, I don't want to say anything. I just want to. So, so the, the, the radar systems that we're talking about getting now, they come with a, some sort of a maintenance program or a, or a guarantee yeah. of repairability for what period of time? I 
I don't know the period of time. Sean looked into getting the thing we should get so that we can get the actual. Okay, well, so we should know that, right? Okay. Because, uh, like, the, the, I feel frustrated with what's happened with our existing systems, and I want to make sure that we don't make Going that forward. mistake a second time. If we're, I, I'm totally in favor of getting new radar signs if, the, if our police chief believes that they're helpful and, and improve safety, but when we buy those, we should know what we're getting and we should have some sort of contractual obligation on the part of the vendor to repair them or to offer repairability at some cost. They do have that. And, and I do believe they have it. So they what we're it. doing today, essentially, we're not ordering anything. I think we are... Um, you're, well, you're not going to carry over the money. It has to be invoiced unless you have it contracted. So you already gave me permission to order yes. those things. You right. already voted on it. So it's just the kind. I think Sean just wanted you to know okay. that what he was ordering. <clears throat> All right. Well, can you... Get some. Can you confirm for us, Gita, that we have some sort of extended service warranty or, or, or some sort of contractual promise from the vendor that these things can be repaired for, you know, I don't know, five, ten years at least? Mm -hmm. I would say five is probably logical. I think ten years. Where the way technology changes might be pushing it out too far, but that's really a good suggestion because we have gotten kind of a short end of the stick yeah. with the ones we have. Yeah. And um, so... And that's why with like the counters you can get on and, and traffic counters, you can order for two fifty, three hundred dollars $300, but they're ones that are... They there's no last. company to back them up. There's no need to help you figure them out if you need to. There's So the $750 ones are... They come with that. <laughs> Okay, and so tell us about the the final item, the surprise so, item. So yeah, I thought I would throw that out there, um, just because I'm concerned. There's no money in the budget next year for any equipment in our office. We just got our computers; everything's great that way. But we each we have two Hewlett Packard of the 4300 series printers. Printers which are, um, you know, they're big printers. They produce lots, they have two different trays, they do envelopes, they, you know, they're, they're not just your average printer. And I was guessing that they were, they're close to 4,000 by the time you get it and, and. Each and or both it. together? Each, each, so. No, eight. together. Together. No, each, because I asked for 75, yeah. But I don't know that for a fact because I'm not a Hewlett Packard dealer. So I was gonna call our computer guy, which I haven't been able to get a hold of quite yet. Get a pre have him get a price. Um, so I'd like to put that into the budget, the operating budget. What's the for, product for number year? Dina? For this year coming up. Oh. Yeah. So March. That's what I mean. Yeah. Okay. Sorry. You know what the printer number is? What the Mine's a forty three hundred and that thing uh, uh, that, that printer has been here since I started working here. <laughs> it's been a really, really good, good printer. Yeah. I keep being really nice to her. Um, but now it's, you know, I just had repair done for $400 and something dollars, and it, it prints out and it looks like a bad copy. You know, it's not working. So I'm it's using tired. the other one, which is a 4350. And that is at least... At least 10 years. At, I was going to say at least 10 or 12 years old. Um, so I'm just afraid that all of a sudden we're going to get through next year. Well, I should have that. The uh, oldest one should be replaced anyways, but I'm afraid we're going to get into next year and all of a sudden. So we have could put money into expense. the computer line if it could come out of the computer mm -hmm. thing. Um, and or it could go in the operating budget. It's a big item for the operating budget, but it could go in there, and that way, um, I think the price of these kind of things has gone down, come down a lot. I so, googled it yesterday and looked in the ones that they're not, they're not, um, I, I don't know, I'd have to talk to our computer guy. Yeah. <laughs> because 
I already had one person who tried to price one for me, and it's a Hewlett Packard, and it's just not what we need. It's not anywhere near mm -hmm. made like the ones we're using out there, and it doesn't have the, and I'm not hopping on the software and all that stuff, but it doesn't have the ability to do half of what ours is. And you can buy it for, you know, five, five hundred dollars, six hundred dollars. Yeah, that, it's not what you but want. But it's not well, what we have. Just doing a quick look on Amazon, you could get a refurbished 4300 for 400 or 500 Right. I know when those things were new, they were thousands of dollars. I don't think yes. they were, I think. Can you find it with a new one? Uh, they don't make them anymore, but oh, okay. the sort of high-end HP old. multifunction machines now sell for eight or nine hundred dollars, right. and that has a copier, it's a color laser, and duplex, and has a lot of functionality. And I'd have to write, find out if that's really the right one. But even if it yeah. is, that's great. But I think if and if and, and if in fact a thousand dollars is enough to buy a new one like we have, I I would like to ask your permission to order it right away. The Wirecutter, which is a pretty it's good website for picking out electronics like this, recommends the HP MFP M479FDW, which is a <laughs> high volume business class machine. It's a color laser, it does color copies. And it, uh, I don't want that. We want black and white, but that's okay. But you can do Well, we can do this yeah, later. Yeah. I just. But you need but, to know. The new I, price I need on that by tomorrow the because I, it's the end of the year. I need to get permission from you guys to have the authority to order us two printers if they're less than, I don't know, $4,000 or something like that. How much was that if one? If you feel like uh, you could do that. New from Hewlett Packard, it's $819. So you add in the computer guy to come and set everything up because it has to be networked and it has to be all that. And you want two of them. So, well, I don't have to have two of them, but yeah. I mean, I think they're both. I think they're both um, at the point where where you know. It's time. I, I'm worried about right, right. I mean, I think the one that is in my office is just added. I mean, and, that's and definite. we still lease. Do we lease some of the other? The big copiers that are in there. So we own no. the copiers. These right. will actually replace those, and those will go away. We own it. We own everything. What we do is we purchase a contract maintenance contract. Maintenance contract. That's right. And so it ends up usually being much. Of course, I can't. There's not a maintenance contract on either one of those printers because they're too old. Too old. But like the copier has one. And you know they can come to repair our copier one time, and it's four hundred and something oh, dollars. Yeah, so, so it's always a good thing. But. Okay, what do we wish to do? It sounds like for two thousand dollars we could get something that would work. I just need to get a wire cutter recommendation. I don't know, you know, you may. Talk to our computer person and have something else you you know that's better or different. I think that's at least a starting point. Right. Yeah. Uh, I'm okay with you know a couple thousand dollars. Okay. You want to say twenty five hundred bucks? Okay. Is that enough, Dina? You think? I have no clue if it's enough for two. I don't know, but yeah, it'll, it, hopefully it'll be enough for one, so that'll be good. If not. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Or we can put a little money in the budget and get the second one in March. There might be some benefit to that anyway because yep. you get, if you're getting new equipment that's different from what you're used to, you might want to just get one and see how you like it before you buy <laughs> two of them. Yeah. That's a good point. Like You've been there before, like the right? Truck. <laughs> like the truck. Yes, like the truck. <laughs> okay, that's great. So Thank you. you're off and running with 25, that. 2500, you said. Thank you. Vote. Um, I don't think we need to. We're all here. We all nodded our heads. Oh, we'll win anyway. All right, then. Just Just like that. That. <laughs> Do we have a second? I'll second. Thank you. All those in favor say aye. Then aye. Uh, and Judy, aye. So you are officially official. Okay.
Well, we got accused for not doing that. So yeah. it's better to do that. Be, have consensus. Costs very little. <laughs> and the smart TV. Did you vote on that? Um, we had already talked about those. I think we did not specifically vote on it. I'll you move said that as well. okay. Second. Okay. All those in favor. And I. Yeah. Judy, I. But you're not voting an amount of money. You're just voting because well, I can just purchase it. Well, yeah. Um, yeah. But please it's, confirm it's, that. It's to this particular thing that I'm holding in my hand is 1459.97, and there'll be cables and other stuff. But that does include right. an installation fee of $200. So I would say $2,000 is more than sufficient. So if you want to do yeah. the smart TV at $2,000. But before we actually pull the trigger on this, we will confirm that we have some reasonable warranty period and that yes. we won't get stuck with a consumer expensive technology that we can't repair or use. Okay. Best Buy usually does what Home Depot does that says you can buy a three or five year warranty mm -hmm. at the time of purchase. This has it up just to 24 it. months of product protection. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Oh, you can have a Total Tech membership for $200. Mm -hmm. But yes, we will get into the nitty gritty of the details. Thank you for that. Yeah. And then did we, you said we already approved the two radar signs? Mm -hmm. You guys already voted. I think that smart TV will be able to display a map of the road bypass. <laughs> <laughs> You're really missing that. that. <laughs> I think I threw it away because I was afraid to put it back up. <laughs> oh, Dana. We, we should get a drone to go down there and fly over it and then make a little um, video that you can watch. Make you feel good. Do we need to do anything about the traffic counters? Did we already do that? I'll move on. I'll second. Okie doke. All those in favor? Say aye. <coughs> and we've got uh, 2500 for that. The speed sign's at 10.5. And then we just gave Dana 2500 If you take a big trip in the next couple of weeks, we're coming after you. Wow. <laughs> That's nowhere near enough money, sorry, <laughs> to go where I want to go. She's going to Fort Bragg. <laughs> That's sure. very good. I could go hit the beach for a few days and then bring it back. Drive sure. back? I think that'd yeah. be good. I could. Don't go southwest. No. <laughs> uh -uh. No kidding. Okay. Well, this has been jolly fun. Report on Linden tree work. Oh, I just wanted to give a quick little report that the chippers came did some safety trimming of the linden tree that's the one by the school oh, yes. the big one. and yeah and uh we have sort of a linden donation fund or you can call it the basswood and well it's either the basswood or the linden tree whichever you choose um so anyways it's not uh tax money it's a donation the work was $2,205. Uh, the donations, there was a GoFundMe page done by a Lyme citizen uh, a year or two ago. So there was 700 left in that, about 700. And then um, there were donations to make up the difference. So, and it was mostly a safety thing too, because they were worried about some well, of the upper limbs. I think that that may be one of the only trees in town that seem to have weathered the bad storm. I don't I, see anything I littering know. the yard. I know. It's, it's amazing. Amazing. It is amazing. Thank you. Uh, Senate Bill 401. I know. It's a good bill. Isn't that exciting? $69,410 and change to be used mm -hmm. towards municipal bridge work. Right. Only. Oh, Municipal bridge work. So, like the edge of bridge. Like the covered bridge? Yeah, that's edge of, that's the edge of uh, bridge. Yes. Okay. That would be nice. <coughs> so, so hopefully, yeah, so you know, we don't have to use it. 
immediately. So um, so it will come in. We can accept the funds when they come. Yeah. And then yeah. we can have I guess Scotty go see. Well, the guy the guy that originally looked at talked it. and looked at it is going to come and look at it again. Okay. And so we can kind of get that estimate brought back up to. Well, snuff. because at the time several years ago when we looked at that. We had conflicting reports. Yes. And we want to um, yeah. we yeah. want to make sure that we're doing what right. needs to be done. Right. The state guy will come and look at it also. Um, so we'll see. What kind okay. of things else we can that would be great. Gather. That would be great to work on that. What else do we have? Oh, update on our on our budget. I would love for you to add into the minutes what as of this date or last night when you did this is I gave you my budget. We is left from this year. I know the last two storms took a chunk. And that's the money we're using to purchase these year end items. But it's always if you want to spit out a number. <laughs> oh, well, <laughs> that's, that's, I don't know, you want the balance that's left as of this minute is 305000 and some change. But you also have, a, I, ha I did a rough estimate because you have, e even though the, some of the, most of the payroll is posted, but there's quite a few invoices and bills left to come in, and, and I just sort of did a rough estimate. I'm, I'm looking at it that you're going to end up with about 118,000 left. Year end. Yeah, year end. So my little take on that is that was a pretty careful budget. Yes. Enough left to have a tiny buffer, but not so much that it looks like you're padding. Right. So right. I, I'm pretty pleased with that. And we'll be taking 17, 18,000 out. That's nice. And so whatever is left goes into the undesignated fund balance. Yes. Good. Do we have anything else, David or Ben, before we go into non-public session? All righty. Then, um, I thank you all. I wish you a very happy new year. The same to our Zoom friends. And see you 2023. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you very much. And I will move to go into non public session at 10.03. I'll second that. Okay. Thank you.